The Ethiopian Educational Media Agency presents English for Grade 7. This is Program 7. Lesson Topic, The Diving Ducks, Part 1. Hello, teacher. Hello, students. Students, here are Hawa and Uwang with me again. Hello, friends. Hi, everyone. Do you remember the last week's song, students? All right, let's sing together. After three, one, two, three. I go to school five times a week, five times a week, five times a week. How often, how often, how often do you brush your teeth? I brush my teeth once a day, once a day, once a day. Students, let's sing our song once again. After three. One, two, three. I go to school five times a week, five times a week, five times a week. How often, how often, how often do you brush your teeth? I brush my teeth once a day, once a day, once a day. Thank you, everyone. Leah, last week you promised to tell us a story. Oh, yes. Students, now. I am going to tell you a story about the diving ducks. About what? About diving ducks. What are ducks? Students, do you know what a duck is? All right. You know, a duck is a common water bird. Oh, the bird that usually swims in water. Yes. Students, do you remember what a duck means now? Teacher, please tell your students what a duck means. You have about 10 seconds. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Ducks are the common water birds. But what does diving mean? Oh, diving means throwing oneself into water or into river. Yes, throwing oneself or going into water with head first. I see. Diving means going into water with head first. You are right, Awa. So, the story is about the ducks that dive or go into water with their head first. The ducks that dive into water. Okay, the diving ducks. Students, now, I hope you understand what diving ducks and diving means. Leah, please tell us the story. Okay, the diving ducks. Once upon a time, there were six diving ducks. Six diving ducks? Yes. Students, how many diving ducks were there? How, how many diving ducks were there? There were six diving ducks. Students, how many diving ducks were there? Yes, there were six diving ducks. Students, say, there were six diving ducks. Yes, there were six diving ducks. These ducks lived with their father and mother. Okay, the six diving ducks lived with their father and mother. Yes, there was also a seventh little duck. Oh, did the six diving ducks have a brother? Yes, the seventh little duck is their brother. Students, did the six diving ducks have a brother? Yes. They had a brother. The seventh little duck is their brother, but he couldn't die. He couldn't die? Yes, the seventh little duck couldn't die. Students, could the seventh duck die? Again, 
students. Could he dive? No, he couldn't dive. Students say, the Savage Duck couldn't dive. Students say again, the Savage Duck couldn't dive. Yes, the Savage Little Duck couldn't dive. So, they didn't count him. One day, when the apple trees were in full bloom, Mother Duck called all of the seven little ducks together. Mother called all the seven ducks together? Yes. Students, did Mother Duck call all the seven ducks together? Yes. Mother Duck called all of the seven ducks together. Then what did she do? Then she took them to the river. Why? I will tell you. Students, why did Mother Duck take the seven little ducks? How? Why did Mother Duck take the seven little ducks? To the river. She took them to the river. Students, why did Mother Duck take the seven little ducks? Yes, she took them to the river. Students say, she took them to the river. Students say again, she took them to the river. Okay, Mother Duck took her children to the river. Then? Then, Mother Duck said, My children, now it's time for you to learn to swim. Obank? What did Mother Duck tell her children? She told her children that it was time for them to learn to swim. It was time for the little ducks to do what? To learn to swim. Students, it was time for the little ducks to do what? To do what? Yes, to learn to swim. Now, let's listen to the Mother Duck again. My children, now it's time for you to learn to swim. You must have some fresh fish every day to make you grow big and strong. To catch fish, you must learn to swim. Why must the ducks learn to swim? To catch fish. Students, why must the ducks learn to swim? Hawa, why must the ducks learn to swim? To catch fish. Students, why must the ducks learn to swim? Yes, to catch fish. They must learn to swim to catch fish. Now, let's listen to the mother duck again. My children, you must have some fresh fish every day to catch fish. You must learn to swim. Now, follow me. Follow me. Then, Mother Duck walked into the river. All the little ducks followed her. Students, where did the Mother Duck walk? Obank, where did the mother duck walk? She walked into the river. Students, where did the mother duck walk? Yes, she walked into the river. Students say, the mother duck walked into the river. Students say again, the mother duck walked into the river. Students, did the little ducks follow their mother? Yes, they followed their mother. Students, did the little ducks follow their mother? Yes, the little ducks followed their mother. Okay, mother duck walked into the river. And all the little ducks followed her. Then what happened? Then, 
Mother Duck taught her children how to swim. She said to her children, Swimming is just as easy as walking for a duck. Students, is swimming easy for ducks? Yes, swimming is easy for ducks. Good. Let's listen to the mother duck teaching her children how to swim. First, walk into the river until you float. Then, push with your little web feet and you will go. Uva, have you listened to the mother duck? Yes. She was teaching beautifully. You are also clever at swimming. Yes, even I can cross the Barrow River. Really? Sure. Oh, children, let's listen to the mother duck again. First, walk into the river until you float. Then, push with your little wet feet and you'll go. Now, try. Try it. One, two, one, two. Students, what was Mother Duck teaching her children? Hawa, what was Mother Duck teaching her children? Swimming. She was teaching them swimming. Students, what was Mother Duck teaching her children? Yes. Mother Duck was teaching her children swimming. Students, say, she was teaching them swimming. Students, say again, she was teaching them swimming. Leah, yeah. could you please tell us the story again? Okay. Students, you also listen. I will tell you the story again. I can tell you again. Once upon a time, there were six diving ducks. They lived with their father and mother. There was also a seventh little duck, but he couldn't dive. So, they didn't count him. One day, when the apple trees were in full bloom, Mother Duck called all of the seven little ducks together. She took them down to the river's edge. Then the Mother Duck said, My children, it's time for you to learn to swim. You must have some fresh fish every day to make you grow big and strong. To catch fish, you must learn to swim. Now, follow me, follow me. Then, Mother Duck walked into the river. All the little ducks followed her. Then, the Mother Duck said, Swimming is just as easy as walking for a duck. Walk into the water until you float. Then, push with your little wet feet and you will go. Try it. Now, try it. One, two, one, two. Leah, yeah? then what happened to the ducks? Oh, I'll tell you the rest of the story next week. Students, you will listen to the rest of the story in the next program. Now, it's time for us to go. Yes, yes it's time, time to go. go. Goodbye, Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. That was English for Grade 7 from the Ethiopian Educational Media Agency. Join us again next week in Program 8. Till then, goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.